Welcome or welcome back to yet another one of my creative videos. Now let's get started. I'm starting off by using five four by five inch mirrors that I purchased from my local Dollar Tree. All I'm doing is gluing them into a box. I made sure the tabs was at the bottom so my mirrors doesn't scratch up my table. Now I'm flipping my box on its side and then I'm going to add these leaf harvest decor pieces to start off the decoration. I'm putting them into place before gluing them down. I'm also using this floral foam piece, but before I place it inside my box, I'm gonna ball up a few pieces of paper, so that way my floral foam piece will have some height to it. Before I add these decorative flowers and also these pumpkins, I'm gonna remove all the tags and remove the pumpkins from the sticks. These are foam pumpkins, so they are very easy to remove from the sticks. I don't know if y'all can tell, but there is a bunch of glitter fallout from my flowers and my pumpkins. So I'm just going to remove the flowers that doesn't have the glitter. And then I'm going to spray some hairspray on my flowers and my pumpkins. So that way it can minimize the fallout. Now I'm placing all my flowers into my foam piece. I'm using pieces of this felt roll to cover up my floral foam. I'm using a combination of these pumpkins and also these pearls that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And these will make everything blend in. And just like that, this is how my flower box turned out. The combination of colors is giving very much fall. Comment below and let me know what y'all think. For this next project, I'm using shower curtain rings that I picked up from Dollar Tree as well, and I'm just snapping them all into place. I'm using these self-adhesive jewel border stickers to decorate them. I didn't have enough stickers to decorate all of them, so I did about half and half. So now I'm using this top to this bottle and also a piece of this felt roll. And I'm going to wrap the piece of the felt roll around the top 
so that way the shower curtain rings can stick better. For this part, I'm making sure that the shower curtain ring is on the table while the top is a few inches off of the table. I'm gluing the shower curtain rings in a pattern. So the first one is with the jewels and then the second one is without the jewels and then I will continue the pattern all the way around. I didn't have enough space for this last one, but once the glue dries, all my pieces will be into place. And this is how it turned out. If you have not guessed yet, this is a pumpkin and to secure all the shower curtain rings even further, I'm going to add some more glue to the bottom. I'm adding some leaves to make it look more realistic and I just cut a few pieces off of these flowers that I purchased from Dollar Tree a while back. Now I'm using two four by five inch circle mirrors and also this battery pack that I used in a previous project. That's why you see this felt roll glued to the bottom. FYI, how I'm about to do this project, please don't attempt to do it this way because you will not be able to switch out your batteries. The string lights was the only lights that I had that will fit inside the pumpkin. If you are going to recreate this, I suggest using some lights with a remote. Also, please use a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. I'm using some of this clear tape because I didn't want to glue my mirror on top of my battery pack. I'm using these acrylic gems to cover up the bottom half of this gap. I found another strip of border stickers and I'm using this strip to cover up the top part of the gap. This turned out super glam and super gorgeous. It's definitely giving Cinderella. Comment below and let me know what y'all think. I added another candle holder in another mirror to give it a different look. Let me know if y'all like this one better or the one without the extra items. <laughs> 